something told me at the last minute to pack an extra I have a trip planned and I'm in my closet getting all packed. I'm leaving in the morning. We are actually going to meet some family in Louisiana and we'll be staying there for a couple days. So since we're all getting together as a family, I made sure to pack a game. We like playing apples to apples so I have that packed in here. I put several sewing makes, some swimwear sandals, all the good stuff. So yeah I'm just getting ready so that when the morning comes I can just get up and pretty much just go. I hope I'll be able to close this now that I'm leaning it over with the game in there. But yeah it should be fine. I think I can stuff it and get it in there. I think it'll be all right. I was able to get everything in this bag, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and take some stuff out because I have another bag and it's pretty much empty. But I went and got a pedicure the other day. I had not gotten a pedicure in over a year and the nail tech convinced me to get nail, oh, gel nails. So she told me that they would last longer. I went in and I told her at first I just wanted to get my nails polished and she was telling me no you know you should get the gel nails and I was like okay okay I'll give it a try so I'm really happy with the way that they turned out so I'm gonna take this which is a garment that I love to wear that I made I think I'm just gonna put this in my backpack and that way if I get cold on the plane or anything then I'll have this that I can just pull out of my bag and put on. I'm going to fold that up a little bit better. We're leaving in about, mm, I think in about an hour or so. So I'm just, oh, I left my makeup bag out. So I'm just in here doing the last little bit of packing and organizing so that I'll be ready when it's time to go. How y'all doing? The food is everywhere. No matter where you go, you won't be disappointed. The only problem you're gonna have is that it's so much food to choose from. Wherever you go and you sit down, they hand you a menu. Don't sit there all day looking at that menu like you're studying for a test. <laughs> Just pick yourself and go with it next time and try something different. Whatever you pick, you will be satisfied. Yeah. Now when we feed you, we don't feed you a little portion of this, a little portion of that. We feed you like a lumberjack, which means your plate gonna be running over. And whatever you don't eat, you get it to go plate, take it back to the room, eat it later. And we just made it to the Airbnb and we are actually trying to unlock the door so we can go in. The other family isn't here yet, so we made it before them. Their flight was delayed. We were supposed to make it after them or about the same time as them. But yeah, we're here first. It only goes up to five feet. Oh, okay. Okay. My husband went out looking for the swimming pool and he found it. He was telling me it's five feet deep. It goes up to five feet. I was pulling out my bag that I got from Levi's. I actually got this as a Christmas gift. This looks like something that would be so easy to make. 
but I'm going to take the things out of my backpack and transfer them into this bag and I'll just carry this around while I'm here and the first order of business is getting something to eat I don't think we're close to any restaurants, so we will probably have to get a ride somewhere. Our delay was her safe delay. We had the safe delay because they were waiting for our plate to come in. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we're on the safe flight, so. And I'll call you guys once we get in the terminal. I'll call you a little bit later. It may be about an hour. Within the next hour, I'll call you guys. Hey, baby. Isn't that what they say here, baby? Anyway, we decided to take a walk to the restaurant. I don't know the name of it, but I'll share it with you. Ooh, the sun. I'll let you know what it is when we get there. Susie's Soul House. That's what we're going on. never heard of strawberry biscuits so somebody in my family ordered strawberry biscuits and this is what they look like okay my regular biscuit is right here this is what I'm having all right now my sister called and told me their flight is actually canceled so I spoke to my mom and she said they're trying to work out something and see if they can maybe get another flight but they don't even know if they're going to be here tomorrow because they're having bad weather where they are and the weather is still supposed to be bad tomorrow and my mom even said there was someone in the airport that said that they had been there for three days trying to get a flight out so hopefully they'll make it here tomorrow i pray i told my mom the main thing is their safety so i want and you know everybody to be safe louisiana will always be here i hope they can make it in the morning so we'll find out, but I'm kind of tired right now. I was waiting up for them, but now it's getting late, so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed. I am just now waking up, and I decided what I wanna wear today is the overall dress that I made recently. So I think this will be great to like walk around in. I think the plan for today is to take the streetcar and go down to Bourbon Street. So we wanna do that. And an update on my family. Their flight was canceled again this morning. So they did get a different flight on a different airline and they're supposed to arrive this evening around seven. I think where we're staying maybe about 20 minutes from the airport or so. So I'm thinking they'll be here maybe around 7.30ish. I don't know, but yeah, the plan is to get here tonight to see them. And then our whole party will be complete once they're here. Now that I'm all ready, I think I'm gonna go sit on the balcony until everybody else gets up and we can start our day. Here's my outfit of the day. It is the overall dress that I made recently. It's an older pattern. This is my first time wearing it out, so I'm really happy about that. And I love that it has these pockets. They told her her bag went out on the seven o'clock flight. So her bag is in New Orleans now. <laughs> No, I think when everybody gets up, we're gonna go down to Bourbon Street. That's the plan. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, well, hopefully, we'll see you tonight. Okay, girl. Okay, we finally made it out the house, and here we are in the middle of the street trying to get to this streetcar line, and it's trying to rain, so we're finally out and about though so I'm happy about that. Here comes our ride.
remember y'all got on the number 12 number and it's green it's green yeah because they do have a red a red trolley but it goes different ways oh we bought passes and everything oh that's fine oh okay you can you can get on either train and even the bus with that pass oh okay okay so, okay so that's remember, good yeah just remember y'all got on 12 train to get y'all back to where y'all stand okay thank you so much it's trying to rain again oh my goodness i did bring an umbrella so i'm happy about that but this is bourbon street and we're actually trying to figure out what we want to eat Sitting here looking at the Mississippi River and it stopped raining. It's been on and off raining. My food was good. I want to get some beignets, but we're going to wait till the rest of the family comes. So maybe that'll be tomorrow when we get a chance to have beignets. just open the door so they're bringing their luggage in right now so excited that they made it safely hey hey you finally got here y'all my nephew i know you might remember him if you've seen him before in another video but this is Today I'm going to wear this Simplicity Wide Leg Jumpsuit. I've never worn it before. It's the jumpsuit with the low back and then it ties also in the back and then I added ties at the shoulder. And it's going to be about 80 degrees so I think this should be perfect. We're about to try beignets for the first time and I heard that this was the spot. It is okay. 
That's how you know who went to Cafe Du Monde. We got powdered sugar all over our clients. That's so crazy. It seems like the powdered sugar is making it sweet. Yeah. Like the dough itself is yeah. not that sweet. I think I'm about to go in the kitchen and cook some bacon for everybody. We had a few things instacarted, a couple of groceries. So we got bacon and eggs, some milk. And yeah, while everybody's still sleeping, I think I'm going to get started on a little bit of breakfast. So we had a good time yesterday. We did a little bit of shopping. I went to the Gap and I tried on some jeans. They were cute, but they were cropped. Like they didn't come high enough up for my liking, but I thought they were cute. And I had the sales lady look to see if they had another size in store and they didn't. So I was like, okay, just never mind. I won't get the jeans, but I did like them a lot. But yeah, we've been having a good time. Oh, and we were supposed to go on a swamp tour yesterday, but it started raining so bad. So we actually are planning to go today. And there is more rain in the forecast, but we're trying to go at a time. We've been watching the weather report and they gave us like hours that it's supposed to rain. So we're trying to see if we can get it in within the hours that it's not supposed to rain. So hopefully we'll do a swamp tour. We leave tomorrow, so I'm hoping we'll get some touring in. Otherwise, you know, we've just been kind of walking around and just sightseeing on our own, even though that's been great also. So we'll see what happens, but it'll be fun to get Carter on some of these other events and us too. Like, you know, we want to see some stuff too, but it'll be fun for him too, because he's a kid, you know? So yeah, we want to do something fun so he'll have a good time and have some great memories. So that is the biggest skillet in the house. And I have two packs of bacon I need to cook. So I think it's going to take me a while <laughs> to get through all this bacon. I was looking to see if they have like a pan that I can put the bacon in the oven. But the rest of these cabinets are pretty much empty. So yeah, they don't have any other pots. It's kind of dark under here. But yeah, these are all the other pots. So that one skillet is going to have to be it. I'm still cooking bacon, but I have quite a few pieces finished. So here we are in the last little batch is in here, huh? He's, my husband said to tell you all he ate a couple. So we're down a few pieces. <laughs> I made these faux linen shorts recently. I definitely need to iron these and I'm gonna wear these with a white shirt and this is gonna be my outfit for the day. So this is the outfit of the day, but guess what? The zipper broke. So I'm not wearing this, but I have a backup outfit, also a sewing make and it's a romper. So I'm gonna go iron that and put that on instead. Something told me at the last minute to pack an extra garment or outfit just in case and I'm so glad I did so this is the jumper or the romper that I'm gonna put on I think it's a macaws pattern and here is the zipper the zipper pull came all the way off the shorts when I got ready to pull them up so it must have been something that I did maybe I didn't secure the zipper before I sewed it in I don't know but you know what I'm not going to fix it when I get home I'm gonna take it to a shop and have them put a new zipper in for me so that's my plan but I love the shorts and I'm glad that I'll be able to fix them I don't think it'll be that hard to do okay here's the romper and I might roll the sleeves up and I might also roll the legs up because I think that's a nice look also I like doing that but yeah I have sandals and I also have some Converse so I'm not sure what shoes I'm gonna wear but I'm so glad I brought this romper. It just came in handy. Perfect, perfect, perfect for my little garment mishap. It's all nice and hot and sunny and let me show you where we are. We are about to take a swamp tour. So glad we were able to get this in. I'm not sure if it's still going to rain later, but my sister did stop at Walgreens and she picked up ponchos. 
So I think if it rains, we'll be nice and covered. I think she got ponchos for everybody. So hopefully we won't need them. We haven't even started moving and there's an alligator. All right, so look, we start off, we head this through here. My name is Brent, I'm gonna be your captain, your guide. Maybe I forgot about that too. Quite. We're almost into the next nesting season where those babies will be hatching by late August. Excuse me. That's how that works. He threw some food out here for the alligator. He said it was for the fish, but the alligator is eating it instead. <laughs> 35 to 50 years, the average life of an alligator. Alligators would be comfortable because now we get into these summer months. And Let me see what time it is. We've been back to the house for a long time. It's 1143 and I was lying in bed falling asleep and I realized I needed to take my makeup off so one time I was at a hotel in Oregon I believe and they had these makeup wipes and I thought they were so good so I looked them up and I found them on Amazon and I ordered them they're called just plain makeup remover wipes I don't know if you can see that but I love these I love them and as you can see they come in their own little individual packs so I just keep a bunch of them in my uh, makeup bag and use them as needed. They're very wet and soft and they're perfect. I just love these. I fell in love with them. It says they have vitamin E and it's good for all skin types. Anyway, I um, have to get up or we have to get up around four o'clock in the morning to catch our flight back to California. So I'm not going to get very much sleep because it's almost midnight and I have to be up like in the next four hours. So I'll probably be really sleepy. I might get some sleep on the plane. The one thing we didn't get to do this time around is play family games. So. We brought about five games. I think my mom brought four. And then, of course, you know, I brought the apples to apples. And we didn't get to play it. So, that's okay. We did other things. So, we'll just have to play the games the next time we get together. just made it home but let me tell you what happened so I was in LAX I was coming down the escalator and when I got to the bottom of the escalator I stepped off and someone walked up to me and she told me she watches my channel I was so excited I couldn't even believe it her name is Lori we talked and we chatted we even took a couple of pictures together now the first couple of pictures we took i was smiling so big i did not like the way the pictures looked she looked great but for me i was like oh no so we ended up taking some more pictures and then the second time around i was like okay let me let me calm down let me let me tone it down a little bit because i was just so happy to meet her and yeah i just enjoyed it so Lori, if you're watching, it was a pleasure meeting you. I enjoyed chatting with you. And that suit that you shared with me that you made, I'm sure whoever you're sending it to is going to love it. Mm -hmm.